Hey guys, everything new under the sun. This is a look at uh, a dinette that I've been installing in my Airstream, my 1965 Airstream. And it was a specific type of hinge that I was looking for. And it's an old school sort of vintage hinge. You can get it on, uh, I think, uh, well, vintage trailer part uh, uh, websites. It's a very simple hinge, uh, and it just consists of uh, a number of brackets here and uh, a metal bar that uh, acts as a hinge. And it basically slides up manually and, uh, and rotates down. Of course, now it's in the, uh, the bed uh, setup. And it's very easy to uh, install. And I'm going to get the camera off the tripod and, sh uh, tripod rather, and show you how to do that. But I want to show you the operation. So this is the operation. You lift it up, it rotates on the back. And you move it up into, you've got to hold it up, and you've got to slide it into the little clips. And you put, your, put your leg down, and that's the table. And so it works very well. It works uh, using a very specific height. So you do need to kind of install it in the down position first, uh, because that's going to give you your measurement for where exactly the top piece goes. I wasn't able to record this while I was doing it, but I will give you the, the quick and dirty instructions uh, for how to install this style uh, bracket. So I'm, I'm sitting on my floor right now. The uh, table is in the up position. What you want to do though is take your table, uh, put it upside down, and uh, you put you place this bracket, this uh, whatever you call it, L bracket or whatever, um, you hang it down the other way. So you put this, you flip it down, uh, so it's hanging down like that. So this edge is just over the, the dropping over the uh, end of the table there. And you just place it there and you center it basically uh, right in the center of your table. So whatever the width of your table is, you center it there. And then you place um, the brackets over top of the ends and you, you screw them in place. Now you want to give this a little bit of room um, so because it needs to rotate, so you need to uh, account for that. But otherwise you just basically center this. And uh, then the uh, next action is very simple, and I'll put the table in the down position, and I'll explain how you um, do the next piece, which is uh, these uh, retainer pieces. All right, with the table down, the next step, once you've got your, your two little brackets in, this one and this one, which we did when the table was upside down, you then rotate the bracket upwards, and then push it back towards the wall that you want to, uh, to put it against. Now you don't want it right flat against the wall. Um, you'll notice that this one is at a slight angle um, because it's not going to rotate all the way back there. There's going to be um, some other uh, considerations to make there. But once once this bar is in place, then you snap these, these uh, pieces onto the bar and then basically slide them to either end and then screw them in. Because where this bar is is exactly the height that it needs to be to go to sit flat. You want this table sitting flat with your dinette um, and that's when you know that that top of that barn because it's screwed into the table that's exactly where it wants to be. And then when you rotate it up that's going to give you an indication. That is then when you can uh, screw these pieces in because you'll know where they go. So the next step is um, when you've got these uh, brackets screwed in, you, you know, notice I don't even have all the screws in there yet for that. But when, when these brackets are screwed in, then you can start to rotate this upwards. And I'm going to show you then how you can uh, determine where these brackets go. All right, so we're assuming at this point in time these brackets have not been in place yet. And so now what we're going to do is rotate this up. Everything's in the, going to stay in the same place. These hinges are going to uh, keep uh, this bar and therefore the table in the exact correct position. And so we'll go ahead and rotate this up just as we would before those brackets are in place. And basically you put it up against the wall where you want it to go. And then slip these brackets down over top the metal, uh, the metal uh, tongues there or, or lips. And then basically screw those in place when, when they're sitting right over top, so like right inside. So basically what you would be doing is you would be putting screws in just like that. And and that's going to be the exact position. So it's very simple to put together. Very, very easy, straightforward, simple idea. No hydraulics or any fancy uh, battery operated technology. Um, you do have the look of this. This is going to be shown. 
but you can cover it up with uh, some wood or something. But other than that, it's very easy. Um, so uh, then to uh, rotate it uh, back down into position, uh, you just lift it up. So what you want to do is lift it up slightly. You want to retract your leg underneath, pull that up. Uh, remember, you got to keep keep the lip in the tab here, otherwise it's going to fall down. You want to grab it by both sides, and it is going to flip down fast if you let it. Pull it up until the lips are out of the uh, the holder there, and then you're going to need to take the weight of it and rotate it down on that bottom hinge there against the wall. And at that point, if you did it properly, it's going to be sitting firmly um, on the, uh, the dinette chairs. And at that point, then you can you can sit on it, and it's very firm. It should not be pulling on this. It should not be leaning on these brackets. These brackets are not meant to hold it. It should be flat against the 2x2. Two two. And so the way you make sure that these are in place is you have this table on the 2x2s two or, or whatever your rack is underneath and push this up against the wall and then screw in these brackets. And then you'll know that you have it in the exact correct location.